business, the heartbeat of every economy. The booze and the chairs of the stock market. Shows who's making profit and who's crumbling under the harsh business environment. On Business Focus, we crowd out the noise for you to make informed decisions on your investment. I'm Paukus Yassari and I talk business. Business Focus, Monday, 6 p.m., only on TV3. Brought to you by Asad Tech Roofing, Acacia Health Insurance. Nkalam say menace has not... Business, the heartbeat of every economy. The booze and the chairs of the stock market shows who's making profit and who's crumbling under the harsh business environment. On Business Focus, we crowd out the noise for you to make informed decisions on your investment. I'm Paukus Yassari and I talk business. Business Focus, Monday, 6 p.m., only on TV3. Brought to you by... Asad Tech Roofing, Acacia Health Insurance. Nkalam say menace has not only become a security threat, but also an environment issue. The following report looks at the impact on the environment. Eleven, more than 300 illegal miners were trapped to death at various illegal sites of the country as a result of Galamsey operations. Despite this startling revelation and the risk involved, the rush for gold far outweighs life for some of these illegal miners. Every day, damage is being caused to the environment by Galamsey operators, a damage which could be irreversible, posing dire consequences for the environment and health of Ghana's citizenry. My parents have died. I don't have enough somebody to look on me. So I do plenty of jobs in my life, no survive. Now I have my children, they are also in school. So I'm a poverty man. I try to join Galamsey. Business. The heartbeat of every economy. The booze and the chairs of the stock market shows who's making profit and who's crumbling under the harsh business environment. On Business Focus, we crowd out the noise for you to make informed decisions on your investment. I'm Paukus Yassari and I talk business. Business Focus, Monday, 6 p.m., only on TV3. Brought to you by Asad Tech Roofing, Acacia Health Insurance. Nkalam say menace has not only become a security threat, but also an environment issue. The following report looks at the impact on the environment. to tackle the Galamse menace and the country. The issue of illicit mining is lawlessness and that is why the enforcement of the law is critical. Any attempt to respond to this needs a more holistic approach that understands not only the environmental side but you look at the security side, the small arms side. 
It should look at the terrorism side. It should look at the employment side. And it should look at the general acceptability of the economic spin-offs of what comes out of the trade. All right, so we're still focusing on the campaign against uh, illegal mining in our country, popularly known as Galamsey. But let's take a listen to what President Kufado mentioned over the weekend. And he admitted that Galamsey is indeed a menace which is complex and a fight against it will be a Herculean one. Speaking to the media on the sidelines of his tour in the Ashanti region, I mentioned that early on over the weekend. He did mention that. It is a complex one, but a short government is devoted to dealing with it once and for all. One of some complexity. You see how widespread it is. The forces and interests involved in the whole Galaxy phenomenon. And even we're going to be able to deal with it effectively by piecemeal measures. To need a comprehensive policy which may even involve legislation to deal with it. And that is what my government is working on right now. Sooner rather than later, that policy will be outdoored and you will have an opportunity to examine its effectiveness. But it is a major priority for us. We are working on it, and as I say, sooner rather than later, the policy for dealing with this phenomenon will be outdoor. But I promise you, it is going to be comprehensive, and it is going to be with the objective of dealing with this phenomenon once and for all in our country. All right, so let's still focus on Galamse. The media coalition against Galamse is embarking on a one million signature petition to ask government to take action against Galamse. Now, and this afternoon, I do have in the studio to discuss extensively on the Galamse menace in the country, Samuel Atamensa. Uh, he is a spokesperson as well for the media coalition against illegal small scale mining and Seth Clay, a mining consultant good afternoon gentlemen good thanks good for afternoon. your time. time now samuel let me start with you the, this is the very first time the media has come up to report talk about the kalamse menace what has brought about this petition in the first place are we just tired of it now i think we've all gotten to the place where mm -hmm. as we say our backs are against the wall we we, we are left with no option um seeing that we are faced with the reality of the of the complete uh, demise of our water mm -hmm. bodies and where we are threatened with the temptation of now importing um, every single water bottle that we drink and so we we have no option but to use our media channels to advocate for for an action to be taken on this menace and that's where we are individual media houses like CTFM and Joy FM and others have embarked on this, um, you know, how be it over the years in, in, in random manner. But now we see a concerted approach, um, which CTFM, for instance, have been doing for the last mm -hmm. one and a half years. Um, other stations have also done bits. But what the coalition has done now supported by the information ministry mm. um, is to now channel the efforts of all the media houses um, that are represented by these organizations uh, and i'm talking about primpag i'm talking about uh, giba mm. and i'm talking about the ghana broadcasting corporation graphic communications group and then we also have the Ghana Journalist Association, Association. Okay. all part of this coalition. Okay. Now, Seth, what is common knowledge now is that you, you're, you're a consultant in the industry and you know the ins and outs of it. Regulatory bodies, have they failed us in the first place? I'm asking because couldn't they have prevented this from happening in the first place? Well, uh, mining around the world is conducted in a structured manner mm. 
Now, when we decided to legalize small-scale mining, uh, first of all, galamse is, is, is a borrowed word. It's a borrowed word in the sense that it, before it was clandestine, so that is how it was referred to. Mm. Now, when the government decided to legalize uh, uh, or, 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 or bring into mainstream, you know, this illegal activity, as it were, small-scale mining was uh, 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 brought into being. And Minerals Commission was supposed to uh, uh, regulate that sector. Now, I remember those days that when you, sell, you sold your gold out of small-scale, there was a 1% reclamation fee mm. that was taken from, from the proceeds and set aside solely for reclamation. Now, what happened to that policy? And so, if, and I, I'm sure Minerals Commission has those mining experts who understand the devastation, uh, devastating nature of uh, mining and the implications of pollution and all, uh, all that. So, knowing that and having been given that mandate, you should make sure that policy is put in place to make sure that these things are done in a, in a responsible way. If I can hold you there, while we showed that report on Galamsey, I realize you were fixated on it, you were looking at those visuals with keen interest. Now, you're talking about implementation, you're talking about law enforcement, but there we again have it that um, people accuse politicians of being the main brains behind the destruction we're seeing now. Can we ever deal with this problem? You see, you see, whether politicians or not politicians, the impact on the environment and our water bodies mm. is, is not good. What I'm saying is that the regulatory body is supposed to put in place policies and measures that will make sure that this thing is done in a, in a sustainable manner. So the question you asked was whether, you know, regulatory bodies have failed us. Yes, they have failed us. Because they are not being innovative, thinking out of the box and making sure that they put in place policies that will make sure that these things are not, uh, uh, don't have the, the, this kind of impact on us. Mm. For example, why look at the, the situation where we had these Chinese people had a whole ship on the river. And the ship people are referring to as a FSOP. It's, it has everything inside. This cannot happen at the blind side of, of the law. It's not possible. So going forward, you think that there so I, I think that I think that we need to be more, uh, uh, what do we call it, proactive okay. in, in our dealing with this issue. Mm. You see, it, it, this whole thing has a lot of facets. Economically, you know, we need to look at it. Unemployment in Ghana is so huge, and the number of people who are operating in this sector Fine, if we, we decide to stop it, which I, I doubt should be the case, mm. then we will throw out a lot of people onto our streets. And those people, you saw that a lot of them were even handling arms. Okay. <laughs> you know, you, can you imagine the, mm. the implication of these okay. things? So, so we should look at the holistic approach. Okay. Well, so before I, I finally wrap up this interview, we're looking at the level of destruction. You've mentioned that the media has indeed done a lot. You have reporters who go out to look at these stories, destruction, put water. And the president over the weekend has specifically mentioned that, yes, it's complex, but it would be dealt with once and for all. How do we take this, even as media organizations? Well, I mean, what the media has is uh, mm -hmm. the various platforms, and that's all you have. You, 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 don't, you don't implement the law. You have a platform to create awareness, and that's how far the media can go. But when I hear this holistic call for a holistic approach thing, I, I get lost in the whole conversation. The thing has to be stopped. The, the word is stopped. And then we can rethink and look at how to manage it going forward. But to say that somebody will lose employment because we stop Galamse, it's, as, it's like saying that somebody will lose employment by making armed robbery, armed robbery illegal. Mm. Armed robbery is illegal, it's illegal. 
we made a mistake first of all by bringing back what we call small scale uh, uh, mining into the into the fall and now it's gone out of control but it's not just an employment issue it is an environmental degradation issue and it is now affecting our agriculture and so the only thing to do is to stop mm. and think we have laws the only thing we are not doing is that we haven't had the metal to implement the laws i think that people should Anyway, let me stop here. <laughs> let me stop. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I have been speaking with Samuel Atta Mensa, and he is uh, with um, a media coalition against illegal mining, as well as Seth Clay, a mining consultant. And we'll be looking at illegal mining and the way forward. You're still watching Midday Life. Thanks so much for your time.